Welcome in this new tutorial. Uh, I'm using uh, PHB May Admin. This graphical tool, this guy, this GUI that is uh, very practical because uh, it's easy and quick uh, to do uh, some stuff. In the, this tutorial, I, I'm going to use this uh, table, this table that I did in Laravel, and I'm going to create a new table the stable I shall call test and I'm going to use an ID and this ID to be an, uh, an auto incremental and uh, I'm going to use uh, a date start and I'm going to use as type uh, a timestamp and as default, uh, I'm going to tell this fit to be current timestamp. And moreover, I'm going to use another variable called date end. Also, timestamp. And I'm going to save the table. And you can see that if I go, if I now insert a, a row. What happens now is simple that uh, yes because uh, I didn't uh, uh, put uh, the default so I cannot uh, leave empty you see null is no so let's uh, change uh, this uh, because I want to change uh, the date and now I want to tell that is a loaded null. So now if I go to insert uh, nothing, it inserts uh, inside the row. That is the uh, the change stamp. And practically is the current uh, time here. But if I want uh, to have another field uh, with the same hour translate plus an hour. It's very simple. I'm going to use this wonderful uh, uh, future introduced in my SQL, and I'm going to call this uh, camel cake trigger on insert uh, uh, on insert test because uh, it's a simple test. This is the table when has to happen the trigger before the insert. So now. What I do is to set uh, uh, new. This is the variable including uh, the current uh, row of the inserting. So my field is date end, and I'm going to set this field with date uh, add, and I'm going to use the new row. And I go to it to tell uh, to be date uh, start so and with an interval with an interval one hour. So let's copy this row. Go. Has uh, said that uh, I have a, an error. Let's uh, see what is set uh, new e date add new data start uh, an interval or because for sure. Interval one hour. So let's say because I want to put this and to be like this. Let's copy. Probably I let's see test structure. This is date start, date end. So date end, date start. Sure, interval. So I'm going to tell uh, to be an interval for one hour. Set a new 
date hand equal date a uh, new day to start huh? interval of one hour let's go that's so. and there we go so practically it was uh, uh, um, return carriage that uh, caused the error but was perfect sorry and uh, you can see now if I, I go to insert a new row as it is you shall see that uh, I have um, two fields one is automatically inserted and another is automatically inserted but uh, with uh, if I want to modify my trigger I go here and uh, probably be attentive because it's not like it uh, the return carriage is not like it by this editor so if I do like this like this you see that I, I have an error but if I if I remove the return carriage it's uh, the same uh, tell that now here we go so here we go anyway this is uh, the syntax for each row and this is created by the um, by php by admin set new data equal to data add new star interval one hour so this is the create trigger the name of trigger before the action the event before insert on test on the table for each uh, row set the action and there we go so this is the syntax to create a trigger so thanks for watching and uh, subscribe my channel thank you for watching